Radio Raheem in Miami Beach one last time with Eddie Hearn. Another night of a tremendous card, man. Uh, the first knockdown in the first round with Demetrius Andre, yeah. unexpected. I think, yeah. Did you light a fire under him like, yo? Yeah, he, I said, I think people, I think he reads stuff, you know, like tonight was a performance with him where he was very reckless. It wasn't really, I don't think he would do that against the Canelo or a Triple G. But I think he knows that people are saying, come on, like knock people out. And, you know, how Luke Keeler got up from the second round knockdown, which he was flat on his back with his head on the ropes, and eventually stopped him in the ninth round. I'm pleased he did because, you know, he, he wins every round against everybody. But let's see that recklessness. People want to see knockouts, and I'm glad he got the stoppage. He's talking 168 pounds to Chase Saunders, challenge him there. Obviously, you're involved with Saunders. Is that done? No, I mean, there's so many different outcomes right now. You know, Billy Joe Saunders is waiting to see if he gets the Canelo fight. Mm. You know, um, we've got the Callum Smith-Billy Joe Saunders unification. You know, there's other fights for Demetrius at middleweight against Charlo, Jamie Munguia with the zone, uh, and Golden Boy, Can uh, Canelo Alvarez, Triple G. All, any of those names is fine for the next one for Demetrius, but it has to be one of them. Since they've become aware that there was an offer in their email, and on the Instagram, have you heard from anybody? No, 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 but I did call them today and I just said, look, just to let you know, we'll do it on Fox, no problem. And they said, okay, well, we'll talk, you know, see what happens, but nothing, nothing major. Well, that's a bit of a move forward, at least we're yeah, talking yeah. now. Yeah, we're always talking, but, you know, I just think that if you're Charlo, like what, what can they offer Charlo? Like, I don't know, hmm. that, that's something other than a voluntary defense that no one really wants to see. And no one really wants to see Demetrius in another voluntary defense. So let's make a big fight, unification, step up a weight, do something outrageous. Well, we did want to see as a YouTuber get knocked out yeah, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. We Ten got that. No head guards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he boxed well. He boxed really well, Jake Paul. You know, I mean, that, that was basically a guy that's actually gone to Big Bear for 12 weeks, listened to Shane Mosley. And, you know, um, the final knockdown and the finish was actually quite impressive. Good combinations. Gibb was just like, I think he half froze and... Again, when you get hit flush with the small gloves on and no head, like it's a different kind of feeling. And um, respect to him for coming in here and a uh, big win for Jake Paul. We'll see what happens. Saw your interview about KSI. Uh, again, we'll speak to the broadcasters. Big numbers again tonight for DAZN uh, and Sky. And, you know, the same thing applies. These broadcasters are going to keep wanting to do this because of the numbers that it's generating. KSI has already been online saying that he's game for the yeah, yeah. for the yeah. fight before this even oh, happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I'm, I'm assuming that's something that you're keen to make, does that happen in the states? Does it happen in the UK? I'm not sure. I mean, again, it's down to the zone. Really, they're, they're the driving force behind all of this, and you know, we only do it if they want us to do it because they employ us and effectively, and you know, we're responsible for their boxing output. So. Um, we're told what to do and we'll make it happen if they feel that economically, subscriber-wise, profile-wise, brand-wise, it makes sense for them. And lastly, we caught, saw Amanda Serrano in the ring today. She's saying that Katie Taylor's got a contract sitting in front of her, just needs some ink on it. Is that the truth? Yeah, they're, they're, they're both in, to be honest with you. They've both signed contracts for that fight. It will happen next, end of March or April. Uh, it'll be London or New York. It's the biggest female fight of all time. Amanda Serrano's a beast. Katie Taylor is, for me, the greatest female fighter ever. And um, you're going to get, like I said, a groundbreaking moment for women's boxing end of March, early April. Usyk, Dylan White, Derek Chisura. AJ Pulev, <laughs> all are, coming soon. What are we doing? We're all lining them up, getting them in order. <laughs> we just need them to be four weeks apart from each other at the right venues, and then we will announce. And lastly, what's your reaction to Big Baby Miller signing with Top Rank? I wish him all the best. You know, I mean, uh, he was desperate to sign with us. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. You know, it didn't feel right. I know I can be hypocritical at times, but you know, this guy failed three drugs tests for three different supplements. Well, it's not even supplements. Injecting it in his ass. You know, stone cold cheating. And uh, there was no ban. Um, but it's over. It's done. I wish him all the best. You know, I've, I will always uh, shake his hand and smile at him. But I felt like he let me down. Um, he let boxing down and he tried to cheat in a fight against Anthony Joshua, who is my friend and client. And I couldn't do it, I could not do it. As much as there's some great fights out there for him, the Joshua fight, the Dillian White fight, didn't sit right to basically encourage this. And that's what they've done by giving him a new contract, big contract, coming off the back of a failed test of three substances. But 
Line under the sand. I wish Big Baby Miller all the best. Respect to him. God bless. Good night. See you soon. Is Anthony Joshua going to have to vacate one of these titles? Not at the moment, but possibly to fight the winner of Fury Wilder. Radio Raheem with Eddie Hearn. Congratulations on another great night of Cheers, boxing. We'll you. see you at the next one.